so I built more acoustic panels, this time for a dedicated two-channel listening room. If you watched my previous acoustic panel video, you saw that I had used acoustic foam and printed fabric for use in a media room. This time I wanted something more elegant and representative of the classic look and feel of traditional box speakers. Since no panels currently exist like these, I once again have to make my own. To begin, let's go over the 3D model I put together to give you a better understanding of how it's assembled. I start with a half inch thick piece of plywood with the majority of it cut out. That will be the back plate the mineral wool rests on and the wall mounts are attached to. Surrounding it with perfect 45 degree angle cuts are square edge 1x3 boards. These will attach to the plywood with 18 gauge brad nails. The outer edge boards will attach with glue and 3 quarter inch brad nails. All that will be shown in the video. The mineral wool will rest in this compartment. On top of the wooden box will be a fabric covered frame. This frame is made out of standard 1x2 furring strips. Again, these are cut on an angle and glued. This time they are stapled on the corners and not nailed. Furring strips tend to warp and bow. That shouldn't be a problem in this application. You can bend them back into shape during the mounting process. Once the frame is assembled, it's then wrapped in whatever speaker grill cloth you want. I went with black burlap from ATS Acoustics. It's what they use on their acoustic panels. Also from ATS Acoustics is the mineral wool. I bought a case of four at two inches thick. They measure 24 inches by 48. For this project, they will need to be cut slightly less than the box opening size to fit in there. Inside the box will be another piece of cloth to cover the opening. I'm just using whatever cheap grill cloth I can find from Parts Express. This will be stretched and stapled in. Using advanced Pixar technology, we can pre-assemble the box for visualization. Here we just have raw materials, but I will apply black stain to the other box and use flat black spray paint on the grill cloth frame. Here's the completed panel exactly as it will appear. You can shake it around and nothing falls out, just like in the real world. Audiophiles like their air gaps for acoustic panels. I got your air gap right here. I'll be assembling these in my garage. Here are the furring strips and 1x3s. I don't have a tremendous amount of tools to work with. I have a miter saw, and I have to make spaces to work whenever there's a project. Typically our cars are in here. Half inch thick plywood. I had Home Depot cut them down for me. Since this video isn't about teaching you woodworking, I'm going to hang back and just let you watch what I did here. I might chime in from time to time if there's something worth mentioning. Enjoy some of YouTube's free music.
using inch and a half brad nails, I attach the grill cloth cover directly to the frame. If the setting on the nailer is to recess the nail as much as possible, then there is no way to see the nails through the fabric. Now that the panels are finished, I bring them into the music room. I tick the walls with tape to start mounting them. Because the back sides of the panels are raw, I attach adhesive pads to the lower corners to protect the wall. One of the panels will need to go on a door. Since the door is hollow and I don't want to drill into it, we made aluminum brackets to hang on the door. Since my wife had the right hardware in her studio, she crafted the most excellent acoustic panel aluminum hanging brackets with countersunk screw holes you will ever see. Four stunning acoustic panels completed. If you want to see how this dedicated listening room evolves, please watch my channel. I have some pretty cool gear going in here. Thanks for watching.